Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure. And Factorio here. It's been so long, folks. Man, oh man, holy shit. Yes, you're going to hear swearing because that's what I do. If you don't like it, oh, well, sorry. I usually like to attract the mature audience. So if you're a young person, ah. Nowadays, I hear kids in elementary schools and everything swear, so it's not like it's a big deal. I am just walking around here, re-familiarizing myself with what we're doing and what we're, what's was happening. And looks like we built our wall for defenses. Uh, looks like we're doing okay pollution-wise. Yeah, I think that's the issue is we need to start concentrating on building weapons, and I think that's what this was for here. So this is ammo being constructed, so that way we can continue with everything. And I think this is just fine and dandy. Then we have iron coming down, continuing. We have our research here. Okay, so I see what was, what's been happening. We've been looks like we've been generating our our bus here, our main bus, where we can bring everything off of to build. Looks like we have a wall up here that we were building as well. I have some stone wall pieces. So, do we have a wall all around us? Let's see here. It's been so long, folks. Man, oh man. So basically what this series was about was me playing the game. And just going through this marathon mode. And yeah, just seeing how much harder this all is. And it's a lot harder. A lot more resources is how I feel. And I don't know. I've, I've played this game for a few hundred hours. On Steam here, it looks like only a couple hundred hours, and um, outside of Steam, before it became, it came on Steam. Um, I don't know. I played the game a lot. Uh, as you, as you can probably see, the different alphas. You can uh, you look at my channel here and probably look up the other factorial videos. I'll do my best to try and link them in the in the description below. But yeah, I. I'm not sure what state everything is in, so yeah. It's been a while, it's been a while. So so how many of you out there, I've noticed there's a lot more subscribers. Looks like there's notifications for subscribers now. That never used to be a thing. So <laughs> had I been watching and been more careful, I should have been maybe recording down all the new subscribers here but thank you everybody thank you for subscribing to to a channel that hasn't been making any videos in a while i'm quite shocked actually that you know, people have stumbled upon the videos i don't know where the subscribes are coming from but hey it's all appreciated it's kind of interesting but yeah so i'm just chopping up the trees here so i can make room for placing the wall here because that is quite important is we need to get our wall up all around so that way we stop any spawning of, of, of biters so I can't remember if I have it set to where the spawns continue or not so if that's the case then we're in for a treat because the game gets drastically difficult with the biters I call them biters because that's what they do they run around and bite you uh, some of them spit uh, I'll usually call those guys spitters I'm not sure what the actual terms of the creatures are. <laughs> uh, of course not. Why would we, right? So the creatures are powered by by pollution, but you probably know that. So the more pollution they consume, the more aggressive they get, and the stronger they get slowly. They also slowly get stronger based on your research, uh, or at least they used to. I'm not sure, but I think they still do for version 15 here. There's talk about version 16 out there, so and I should be keeping these at about a half an hour. So I am going to quickly check my my OBS here to see what we're in, and it looks like we're about almost five minutes in. So I should check my yeah. We'll probably go a little bit over, just because then I looked at my clock and. I have a value in my mind there that makes sense. So let's see here. We got steel here. We got, we got bricks happening. What's happening here? So the bricks aren't reaching this this bottom one, hey? Is that because there's not enough stone? 
Probably because there's not enough stone, and I would probably need to make some quicker belts, which we don't have access to. Right now we're researching gates, and so that's these things. So I might need more of these, of research facilities. How is this all running here? Uh, let's see here. So steam, 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 steam. This one doesn't have any steam? Or is this because the steam... I think because we have the steam going up this way, and then because this is at the end, it goes into here and then it gets consumed, right? So it looks like we have 100% available performance. It's almost, uh, these are almost at half. Interesting. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna sneeze here one moment. Okay, thank you about that. I'm going to mute because I kind of have the sniffles. My nose is plugged up today for some reason. I also have a nice, wonderful Slurpee, uh, which I'm consuming. I think here I was starting to build these these bad boys. I think we were starting to place them. And I was placing them one, two, three, four. It looks like five apart. Three, four, five, like that. One, two, three, four. Four, five. That's right. So one, two, four, five. I wish there was a way I could click and drag and then be like a counter, some sort of counting method. But yeah, because see, sometimes you misplace them. Okay, no, that one's okay. That one's okay. I'm trying to count in my head here. It's kind of tough because usually I like to do it you know, out loud. I think I did four. One, two, three, four. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, no, that is five. I wish you could just eyeball it. I wonder if I can do it like that. Five, okay. Uh, maybe like that. One, two, three, four. Ah, looks like I can eyeball it. And that one will be a little bit closer. That's pretty cool, pretty cool. And now we can load up some ammo in some of these bad boys here. Need to do that. Right click, left click, right click. Actually, oops, uh, let's make sure we have that. And we can split that up. I hope this is recording good. I hope it's nice and smooth using my good old laptop computer still. I, I plan on buying a new computer. Uh, hopefully with, with the optimizations that they've been doing, this is all working fine. The sound should be coming through. I haven't really tested it, but on OBS, there's the little meters on there that you can look at that show that there was sound coming through. So let's see here, I'm trying to remember what I was doing. So it looks like we were building the walls. Right here so we'll take this stuff let's take all of it because we're going to need it and looks like I need to grab some ammo here so let's grab a bunch of ammo <laughs> oh boy yeah looks like 200 rounds there 200 here so we're doing okay on that front okay well so well I guess we're researching gates and once we have the gates then we'll be able to to enter and exit our base and we'll be able to expand this upward basically up this way towards the the uranium there and then we'll have to secure these oil deposits here and we'll probably decide to do oil down in here probably that's what we'll do is what will happen right and then i do want to build a train system so we'll probably put the train stations on the sides somewhere what else are we gonna do? What else are we gonna do? Let's, this is the coal. So this is our fuel source. This is so important. I think we press downward there. And this is where there's some there's some bad guys down here that are that are very close. So I think once we're done the gates, can I? What's the the research button? Oh boy, it's been so long. Tutorials, trains, achievements, bonuses, production statistics, blueprint library. There's, there's a way to get research. I'm just going to hit keys here. Ah, T. T is the research button. It's been so long. 
So this is what we're researching right now. And then this is kind of what we have access to, I think. I guess I can do any of these ones and maybe any of the green ones because we created the research. So I might increase the gun turret damage after this. Oh, we can also do better electricity or better research. Oh boy. Yeah, it looks like we'll just have to do like the solar energy. Maybe we'll do the solar panels and build a way to build the solar panels. That's probably what we'll do. Okay, what's going on here? What's happening? Oh, looks like there's engagements. Is that because there's biters that come are coming by? Yeah, probably. 45, 48. Yeah, it looks like that's what it is. So as long as we maintain the gun levels, we should be okay. But where are they coming from then? Like, there should be nothing here. See, that's the weird thing about this game <laughs> is the the biters is i'm not sure if it's because of the mode that we're in or is it because of just that's the way they are that's the way they are so i also need gun turrets are we making those automatically let's see here I don't see the gun turrets anywhere on the menu hey yeah look at that so let's see what we need to make gun turrets maybe that's what we were headed towards uh, iron gear copper and iron so these three, iron gear, copper, and iron, they don't really see anywhere here, hey? We could probably just place a factory, like right in here maybe? Gear, copper, and iron. Yeah, no, let's just pull it off. So for example, let's just place it. We only need one of these, so we, we we basically need to pull off of, okay, we need to pull from the gears, so I'm going to place this guy right about here, okay, uh, we need a light over here somewhere, let's see, let's just put it right there, okay, so this guy is going to make these things, so we need gears, copper plates, Gears, copper plates, and iron plates. So I was thinking we could merge. Okay, so what do we need more of? So we need copper plates. How do I change the recipe? Do I right click? No. Oh, there's a way of changing the recipe. Uh, shift left click copies. So if I like right click, I think, or yeah, and then shift left click, you can copy. Um. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is that's the button. That's been so long, folks. You have to bear with me. So I need a ten or so ten gears, ten copper plates. So iron plate should have its own line. And then the gear and copper can be a shared line. That's what that tells me. So, so the gears and copper. Okay, well, I might have to move that. So gears and copper. So we can actually. Split the gears there, and then we should be able to put the copper in there. We need a splitter, All right? Then we will need. Let's see, how do we merge the two together? It's a, it's a quite the thing to merge. We, I think we have to do this. Let me do this. Then we need to split as well. Oops, let's escape. So we need to split. I don't think I'm giving myself enough room here. And it's been a while since I've split things. Let's just see some other examples. So I'm just gonna give myself some room. So we need to make more splitters, which means we need more iron plates. Let's see here, iron plates, iron plates. Are we not collecting them somewhere? I thought I, I was siphoning them off of the, the line here. But I don't see that. I see that we're consuming them a lot. So let's pick them up from here. Because this is the production. Okay. 
That way I can make some more of these bad boys. Let's see. Okay, what time are we doing? Oh, we got still 10, 20 minutes, so we need to get this done here. Let's see here. So, let's go back to splitting. A lot of thinking. It's kind of tough to do it on the fly here. But, let's see here. So I want the, what, gears and copper, right? <laughs> I think so. The plates, there's 20 plates. So gears and copper. Okay. So the gears are easy. It's the copper. So copper, we're going to probably have to split. And then that way it can come down like that. And this one will have to split. So now we can put the splitters in. Put a splitter here and here. Right? We need some underground belts. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then we will see here like that, I think. I think this is iron plates. That and then copper. So copper will just be able to connect together like that we'll bring that up we'll bring that up and bring that up okay so now the copper plates are the next thing to bring over okay so that means this guy has to be like that then this guy uh no we need to split right and then we can bring it over and then this guy can pick that up okay and then we can just paint this like so and there we go okay so now we can chop up some trees here okay Chop these trees up here. Perfect. Okay, and then we are going to place an assembler machine. I think we can do it like this. Probably just place it right there. And this is going to bug me, but watch. We're going to do this and up and then like this. Actually, we could go one better like that. That'd be all right. And then these ones down here, we go like that. Okay. And then, then we can place these bad boys like that. And then we can put in power. We'll put the power in the corner. And then we'll just hook these up. And then let's put a light in place right there. Shabam. Okay, now we can turn these into the gun turrets. Now they're going to load up automatically. Looks like we're going to need a faster one of these bad boys. So we'll put that right here. And then I think we need one of these. Okay. Yeah, this, uh, I don't know, we're going to have to see how this works. We might need more production of gears. We'll see, because right now we just have the one gear thing here working. Oh no, we have two gear things working. So basically, it's the iron. We might not have enough iron coming in. Which means that we might have to split this. Or create another bank of iron. Which means that we're going to have to tap into this some more. And that's what we're preparing for. So this is what the game is, is you're, you're usually going, cycling through different things. You're going to start adding stuff, then you're going to go, oh crap, I need more materials. Plus we're playing the marathon mode, so now that just adds more complexity. Which is kind of challenging in a sense in that way. 
so now what we want to do is we want to do this we want to add storage I'm just going to make one stack of that stuff and we only need a regular inserter which we need power for so let's build another power that's fine and shabam now we're making turrets which means that yeah that's exciting which means we'll be able to expand our our whole defenses although all that stuff down here we have the ammo that's that's been happening to make sure we we stay topped up with that so I might just make only one stack of this stuff because it's using up a lot of iron if you watch it's taking a piece from every kind of group so is this but imagine this will back up once once it all catches up so it, as, as long as the gears so right now we're using probably a lot of gears for this but this will slow it down because this will need to be fed and because this is at the bottom has the highest priority so anything you add at the end of the bus will have the highest priority because all the resources go down but it will also have the resources that are left from everything in front of it if that makes sense so things will get built further down and all the resources will get consumed and everything will stop you know, building because then the resources need to catch up so there's limitations to the bus but I don't know for what we do it's fine for the beginning here um, later on what you end up doing is you end up creating depots and stuff like that so let's kind of see I want to see these guys in action and I can't they're just using up bullets and they're using up a lot of bullets so we might have to do the bullet damage after the gates and then we're gonna have to kind of go this way we have to see where these bad boys are coming from because it's not I don't know man not conducive not conducive at all and why isn't it using up the wood I want it to use up the wood not the freaking coal that's the, that's irritating so can we inject the wood yeah this is what this is for I think I can throw the wood in here yeah and it throws and it uses it that's right that's right excellent excellent and these are the stone deposits that's the best that they'll ever do which means that these two are unnecessary I thought I might have needed it but not so let's Grab some more walls. So now let's let's build more walls and finish it off. Yeah, so I think this is a good episode. You'll have to let me know in the comments if if <laughs> how things are. And I would definitely go back to the beginning and watch all of them up until this point. So that is a big difference, and it does it it does kind of make sense with the flow. So you kind of see what I'm doing and kind of how we get there. But I have a feeling this this game. This marathon mode is going to have a very slow pace, so since I like Factorio, it's one of my favorite games that I enjoy playing. I think we're you're going to see a lot more of this stuff on the channel, which is fantastic. So I want to complete this this version of the game before you know version 16 comes out. I kind of hope that they'll finish the game and release, but on the same note I don't mind them continuing to make improvements optimizations and and continuing the development of the game because uh, the game is just fantastic enjoy it I enjoyed that much so yeah so thank you everybody for watching and hopefully you'll see more regular content from me I'm going to try to do it at least once a week but I might do more and with the factorial stuff I just record and stop and then I just I dump into the editor I upload I do a quick screenshot and yeah, and that's it. So thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.